Once you have specified a StatTools dataset, as has already been done here, you are then ready to perform the many StatTools statistical analyses. When you run any StatTools analysis, you see a dialog box something like the following. This is for a one-variable summary analysis, but the dialog boxes for other analyses are similar. They all contain a top section where you can specify the data set, its format, and the variables in the analysis. And they all contain the three small buttons at the lower left. Of course, the middle section changes depending on the type of analysis. This common dialog box look allows you to become comfortable with StatTools very quickly. The Format button allows you to choose between stacked and unstacked formats. Usually, you choose stacked when you want to break down an analysis by category, such as spending amounts by gender. Then there are two columns of checkboxes for the variables, one for the cat or categorical variable, and one for the val or value variable. Otherwise, you can choose the unstacked format. Actually, there are a number of situations where you don't get a choice. In these cases, only one of the formats makes sense. For datasets with many variables, StatTools often, but not always, provides a handy option for checking all of them. To do this, you right-click above the top checkbox and choose Select All. You can also choose Deselect All to start over. As mentioned earlier, all StatTools variable dialog boxes have three handy buttons at the bottom left. The first button is for help. The second button allows you to save dialog box settings for future analyses. The one variable summary dialog is a good example. By default, all of the summary statistics are checked. If you typically want only a few of these, you can uncheck the ones you don't want and then click the Save button. Then on your next one variable summary analyses, you will see only your favorites checked. The third button is a shortcut to the Application Settings dialog box, also available from the Utilities dropdown on the StatTools ribbon. This shortcut is handy because it allows you to reset the Report Placement option and other options on the fly. As you can see, there are four report placements. Active Workbook places the report in a new worksheet in the Data Workbook. New Workbook places the report in a worksheet in a new workbook. After Last Use Column in Active Sheet is usually used to place the report to the right of the data. And Query for Starting Cell lets you choose the location for the report. You might find that you switch between these options, particularly the first and last options, fairly frequently. So this button lets you do it very easily. 